folks, it is Monday, and oh my god, once upon a time, oh yeah, oh my. Yeah, I posted at least to Facebook, and this is going to be about as spoilery as I'm going to get. Once upon a time, why you make me cry? And several people on my friends list were like, 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 there's a fair number of likes on that. I mean, people probably watched it and understood what I meant. If you didn't watch it, you don't know what I mean, then, you know. But it's, it's definitely an emotional episode, and the new season is definitely going good places. Um, I'm trying very much to be spoiler-free because not yeah, everyone well, watches it. Well, I know. remember, we're already, like, halfway through season five of Fringe on Netflix. So you can... I, I, I'm kind of getting interested in that stuff, especially now that we have the Observer Child. Yeah. Um, we're... What, episode four or five? Um, eight, ten? I have no idea. Anyway, it's it's good, but it's God, it's bleak. I'm really hoping things turn around. And well, I suspect they will. But yeah, it's it's well, interesting, it's fun. Well, I would guess that it would be about I guess the term is ambiance. The episodes are supposed to signify bleakness, because the future is bleak. Things will probably turn around as soon as the good guys start winning. Sort of like in WoW, you get, uh, when you're close to death, you get the little, like, <laughs> of red. When things are cold, like up in Storm Peaks and Ice Crown, it looks like you're being, your vision's being clouded by ice crystals with the blue that pulses a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, lots of TV over the weekend, lots of stuff over the weekend. Um, well, you went out and did your jog. Yeah. When TJ went up to Lenoa Falls, I went out and just did a jog towards the nature reserve, and it was an awesome time, but it felt really good. Um, yeah, my uh, folks, yeah, if you follow, like I said, the Tumblr and to an extent my Instagram, um, I put a lot of the pictures up there. I still have yet to gift the two waterfalls, but it's because of the size ratio on them and my camera takes too big of photos. First world problems. Anyways, yeah. All right, well, we are just about at my work, so I will chat with y'all later. Hi, so yeah, back home now, hang on. Ugh. Actually, really good light in here. Ugh. All right, so yeah. I have to vacuum in here. We got the dresser out of here. It's on the, uh, wonder if I'll have light for this. We moved the television on top of it. There's no room in our room, so I thought might as well use it as a TV stand so we're not like both sort of leaning over to be down while the television was on that table. But, no, this weekend just seemed really long because I've been getting to just chit-chatting and talking with people from the Facebook Gay Geeks group. Um, several of them, or at least one of them, has uh, confessed to me about having Asperger's also. So there's a little bit of familiarity. Someone I can talk to. <laughs> Someone I can talk to on Facebook while the videos are uploading. Anyways, <laughs> so they're not, they're not local around here. They're, they're in New York, but you know, anything is anything at this point. Oh my God, there's a cat. Gross. There's a cat on the fan. Oh my God, is Alyssa here now? Okay. Well, Alyssa just showed up. So yeah, I will chit chat with y'all tomorrow. Well, no, Aaron will. He did season six. I'll put that one up. I got to edit that tonight. So anyways, bye. From my heart and from my hand, why don't people understand my endings?